What is up guys, it's of Masters here and today I decided we'll just take a small little break from these 2020 sets and all that and take a look at all of the legacy vehicles together. Now obviously it is just a vehicle so no spinners, no monastery. I do have those sets, I just figured the vehicles make more sense to put together. But let's go ahead and take a look at these. So as a group they do look pretty solid. The most interesting thing that I actually got from putting these all together is that I never actually realized that how many Lloyd sets they've actually made. Now granted they are not exactly the biggest sets but out of the nine total here four of them are all Lloyd sets which I thought was interesting. There are two for the golden ninja version of Lloyd being of course the golden dragon and the golden mech and then there's also that small little jungle raider and then the ultra dragon which I mean, I guess you could argue that Ultra Dragon's kind of all for the Ninja, but it really is just a Lloyd, especially in the way they kind of presented the set. All the other Ninja, they do have sets, but they are a lot smaller too, which is kind of interesting. So for Cole and Jay, I guess you technically have two sets because the Thunder Raider is the combo, but it's it's kind of really just one and a half. Uh, Kai, he probably will get the X1 Ninja Charger later in the summer, but right now he has the Blade Cycle, which... I mean, I'd say that's the most disappointing set out of this whole bunch, if we're being honest. Zane Snowmobile is pretty nice. Um, I have no idea what they're going to be doing with Zane as far as the future of Legacy goes, but I hope they make at least something else. And then Nia has the small little Samurai X mech, which I highly doubt that they make anything, actually, for Nia. I think the best chance we get at another Legacy Nia vehicle would actually be that small little car that came in the Ningroid Mech Dragon. That... That is technically a Nia car. I think that's the best chance we get that they would just include that in something. It's not a real Nia vehicle though, but that's the best chance we get. So I wish they would have made the Samurai mech just bigger just from that perspective too. But as a whole, these are all pretty nice sets. They all obviously do kind of carry the significance and the vibes of the original sets, but they kind of all do it in a new and unique way and they all fit together pretty nice. But that's pretty much it for this quick little video. I just wanted to kind of take a look at all of them together. Till next time, see you guys later.